This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, in about a week or so, the last uh, week of uh, July, I'm going to be going some, doing some uh, camping uh, about uh, just a few hundred miles away from here and about $250 worth of gas back and forth from here. That's how I'm uh, determining a lot of my expenditures is how far things are and how much gas I'll be using to get there and back. So about 250 bucks to go to uh, near San Antonio from Fort Worth, Texas. Getting about nine, 10 miles per gallon. So uh, in this uh, video, I'm gonna be talking about essentially some of the things I really like about my travel trailer and some of the things that I don't like about my travel trailer. But you know, they're minor complaints. I'm pretty much very happy uh, what I got for my travel trailer in December of 21 for $25,000 cash, okay? Plus $700 for the hitch at uh, one RV in Shipshawana, Indiana. I've been watching a video on Ember uh, Travel Tours. It just came out with a four wheel unit. They usually have only two wheels. I really like it. They have some super, super suspension. Essentially it looks like this one, except it's uh, significantly uh, buffer, uh, more macho. It's been giving the uh, <laughs> Dwayne Johnson uh, a treatment, so it's uh, it's a pretty rugged RV as compared to mine. Mine is good going down the highway in some modest, rather modest dirt or gravel roads. Beyond that, I would not take it anywhere. I was offered a job uh, working at it uh, this summer for the National Park Service at down a rutted road, but that rutted road went for about 10 miles. Bam, 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 bam. And people uh, told stories about how horrible it was going down that road. And by the time they got to the end of it, things were, doors were falling off and refrigerator parts were gone. And there, this and that was had a lot of issues. And I didn't want to treat my relatively new uh, travel trailer t to that treatment. But the Zember, Looks like it can go down it. I really like that little ember, that little four. Just came out this week. Very nice ember. Uh, ember pretty much, you know, prices their products about another fifteen thousand dollars more than this one. Again, this plus fifteen thousand dollars gets you a lot of nice stuff. So I'm gonna turn around the camera. We're gonna go walk around this RV, and I'm gonna be talking about uh, things I like and things I don't like. But I pretty much, again, emphasize to all of you out there. I'm very happy with my $25,000 investment in this travel trailer. I look forward to having it for at least a couple of years, maybe a few more years. And uh, if I had the cash, I'd get a Class C, something nice, a little 25 foot, 27 foot Class C. But that's seven to eight times more money. I'd rather keep that money in the bank. So let me turn around the camera. So the first thing I did when I got this uh, travel trailer, I took off uh, some of the more colorful decals, these multicolored decals. I did not like them. I decided to keep the black uh, decal. So it's pretty much, uh, I think down here, this is paint or something, uh, but this is decal. So I'm very happy with uh, all the other features and the paint job and the tires. The tires are excellent. These are Goodyear Endurance tires. I really like these Goodyear Endurance tires. They're ST205 slash 75R14s featuring Dura Walk technology. And again, I've had this travel trailer for six months and I've had no issues going down the road. Nice uh, aluminum wheels, uh, you know, torsion, suspension. Very, very nice. I look forward in about uh, six months or so doing the easy lube. Any suggestions for how to do that easy lube and make sure it's easy? I'm gonna get myself a little grease gun and give it a try and uh, twirl them. And my wife twirl them while I'm greasing it and hopefully everything goes as expected. Good size pass through. Again, this is the only storage, period. Period, this is the only storage. I wish there was a little bit of storage bag here somewhere, anywhere, but this is the only storage. Uh, again, uh, you get the uh, awning style windows, nicely tinted, and you get a, and I got the option of the slide topper, and that works pretty nice. It's handled, you know, 30, 40 mile per hour winds with ease. Of course, I added the uh, Hallowview 
cameras and these Hallowview cameras after I figured them out and got them to work uh, they've been absolutely flawless they're you know they make going down the road and looking at the little monitor there and saying hey I can make a left lane change with no issues oh thank thankfully again this only requires two little screws here and this right here and you hook this up and that's a piece of cake and these walls aren't very thick and just you know, drill drill connect it to the I connect these wires to these wires yes I screwed up the first time but the second time I did perfect and again how of you send me a second uh, camera here uh, because I messed up the first one <laughs> again the folks at hell of you are a plus I give them a solid a plus can't complain magnetic holdbacks I like that get two 30 pound pro to paint tanks that's a positive don't you think uh, 30 two 30s and of course with automatic you know crossover and they now give you these uh, little holder here for the uh, chains in the uh, seven-way plug I've had some issues with this for some reason these get eaten up you can see a little bit right there it gets a little eaten up I've had to replace this one came off and I had to replace it and I put a little another ring there I figure when the uh, Harvey's turning around with the uh, equalizer hitch it's uh, eaten into that chain power tongue jack no problems uh, my battery I had a the folks at one RV put an 80 watt uh, 80 amp hour rather uh, 12 watt uh, battery in there a modest little uh, battery lead acid and I have currently in there uh, a very nice AO lithium uh, 100 amp hour battery and my goal is to eventually put like a hall master uh, tra uh, what do you call a box here battery box and then put both batteries in parallel that's a job for another uh, six months from now you know when it's cooler I'll come back and do that one that should be pretty simple just screw the box into here Put this, you know, put the two batteries in there. In fact, I'm planning to put it, maybe put a little structure inside so it holds the batteries in place. Again, no major issues. One of the things I don't, I'm trying to figure out is where can I take my RV to clean the bugs and such. I know after a while they sort of eat into the uh, the color of the uh, paint, but there's not much paint here, so. I wonder if he eats into the fiberglass, but I gotta clean some of these bugs off. And that's my goal. I'm thinking about taking it to a car wash. I'm planning to go to a car wash and see if it actually will fit. A nearby car wash, and then get the old brush and go clean the front. That's the main part that needs cleaning, where the bugs go. That should be a pee. Diamond plate, very nice. And this is the other side of the Hallowview system. I have two side marker cameras and then I have the rear backup camera. A plus. I do like this uh, little holder for the table and the tray. I have not used the little uh, griddle but I did take the gr uh, metal griddle, the actual griddle griddle part and took it inside the house and stuck it in the oven and coated it with oil and then baked it for several hours and gave, gave it another coat of oil so it, it's been seasoned this is something I did this uh, little thing here this is where you usually put your TV mount and I added a little back into this and this is just uh, glued on with uh, you know back, you know double sided tape and I put it on here and I just leave it here and it doesn't, it's been going down the road. Solar powered light goes on at night. Perfect. And these things don't go for very much. So, so when this one breaks in a couple of years, a year, who knows how long, I'll just replace it and throw another one on there. I never use the outside cheap ass speakers. Once in a while I use the uh, amber light. So again, excellent Goodyear tires. Can't complain about that. I put some reflect reflective material on this because in the middle of the night uh, I don't want to bump into that and hurt myself. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
So again, I got this uh, RV at Wana RV. They gave me a good deal. I could not refuse. I'm not a big fan of going to Wana. Uh, the Chipswana was a hell of a boring town. Hell of a boring town with this guy. I did not enjoy going to going there, but yeah, you do what you can to save some bucks. And there's my hell of you backup camera. Only two wires, a positive and a negative. And I added a little shark fin adapter. And there we are. We got, it's two pieces. That little adapter, that hell of you, it says hell of you on it. It's a special little design that fits really nicely in there. And then uh, the camera. Piece of cake. This is my outdoor shower. I did add uh, some reflective material. Goes all the way across. I did move the tire from the middle to the side there in case I want to add a bicycle rack. My wife and I both have uh, expensive, you know, manual bikes that are well worth over a thousand bucks each. So we don't want to uh, put them back here and have them stolen. I've heard too many videos of people getting their bicycles stolen. So I'm thinking about buying some, uh, again, I like to use this word cheap ass uh, bikes, maybe a hundred, hundred fifty dollar bike, two of them. My wife and I can go cycling. We're not going to buy any uh, electric bikes unless somebody sends one to me to review. Then I might take it and there's a ladder going to the roof. Yeah, again, I'm just used to, my wife and I like to use our actual muscles to power our bikes. I have my 30 amp uh, smart surge protector, power wash dog by Hughes Autoformers, A plus, no issues. And of course I have a master lock right here to uh, ensure that nobody steals it, nobody grabs it. Uh, here it is right here, it's the master lock. There's various versions, people have said, hey Jesus, uh, you sh I got a different one. This is a master lock, Python. This is a pretty skinny Python. <laughs> And it's connected right there. So, and uh, again, very, very nice. So what do you think? I like my little travel trailer. This is the outside review. And of course on the roof, I have two Maxer fans, one over the, in the bathroom and one right over the bed. And I have the 15K, uh, you know, air conditioning option. Because I live in Texas, and all week it's been 105. All week, this week's going to be 105. All the month of July, it's going to be probably about 100 plus every day. Same in August, part of September. As we say in Spanish, muy, 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 muy caliente. So here is, here's how it looks in the RV park. I'm not going to go on the roof today because I'm too lazy. I'm a slacker. So what do you think? So the... I really like this RV quite a bit. Put a little, uh, my wife does not like this rubber, little lament. It collects a lot of dirt, but that's why I bought it. Collects a lot of dirt, and then you, you can always uh, clean it up. So here we are with the uh, slide in. My wife has a lot of cleaners. We take out the tray it's down there right now. I put a little bit of cloth down here so when it vibrates down there, it's not going to crack. And uh, we got our, we put this in today, uh, my wife and I, actually a couple days ago. <clears throat> it's an electric kettle. Uh, it's from, we bought a new one for the house. We said, well, we'll use the old one for outside. Of course, we're going to put that, store it up here. Somewhere we got plenty of room. We got we got tons of room. We we'll put some sort of way to store it up here and insulate it. Make sure it doesn't uh, rattle around too much. Let me close this TV here. I was just making sure it's uh, there. We are. This radio is a mediocre at best. TV's pretty good. Can't complain about 720p. And I put my two new uh, zero gravity chairs there, and then I put. A pillow, one of the pillows that comes with the unit. My wife bought this uh, bed cover and pillowcases right there. She she decided on that, and this is my uh, fishing uh, 
shirt and shorts when I go fishing. And there's a pillow. Let me take a pillow out. And because uh, I have to do that every time I pull it off the slide, let me make sure these are somewhat in. Because I do not want anything collecting. Oops, it just fell on the ground. There we are. So there we are. Let's see if this uh, slide goes out without any issues. I'm gonna stop it right about, ooh, about a foot left to double check that nothing's gonna get crunched. Right about there. Let me go take a peek over here at the chairs. Cause this is a new thing for me to put these chairs here. Let me see, it's gonna be interesting. From what I can see, should be no problem. Very nice. What I'll probably do is flip this around. It's these cup contrivances, these cup holders for my beverages are on this side, so it's be more like this, not like that. So I flip these around. It gives me about a good two and a half inches of space, as long as uh, you know it's, they're not in the way as a slide goes in and out. Should be no problem. I just got to be diligent, like on everything with the RV. You know, got to watch out for nails. You got to watch out for trees. You got to watch out for slopes. You got to watch out for bumps. You got to watch out for everything. And uh, I, not a big fan of uh, these blinds back here. In fact, I'm not a big fan of that window. I wish they would just not have that window because I have some insulation material over there right now just to reduce the amount of heat uh, entering the RV so you know and those uh you know pleated blinds I'm not a big fan of they used to be everywhere but that's the only place now they have them I'm not a big fan they are but I am a fan of these you know these uh, blinds are very very nice I like the window coverings <clears throat> very nice a plus I gotta be very cognizant of this this thing uh popped out recently so I got to make sure not nothing pushes it down too much <laughs> so I do like the colors and this is where I keep my CDs this is not some more hell of you stuff it's just some CDs recently I had uh, upgraded my uh, my converter box and upgraded it to a smart converter box. The previous converter box only can charge a battery to a certain extent, but this one automatically can figure out your battery yeah. and uh, say, hey, it's lithium. Oh, it's AGM. No, it's a uh, it's, it's sealed lead acid battery or some other kind of battery. And currently I have again up front, I have a lithium battery and this is very, very, very the folks at WIFCO sent it to me and I installed it with some help from some friends, one friend specifically. And it's been working very nicely. The only issue I have with it currently is that you're supposed to basically uh, get your battery to zero. Zero. You know, basically deplete your battery and then it says, okay, now I, can, now I understand what kind of battery you have. So right now it's just doing its thing, but it's not necessarily via, you know, saying it's a lithium battery. Only after I deplete my battery, it figures out from what I understand, and this is from what I understand, and I'm not a technician, I'm not an RV technician, I'm not an RV whiz, I'm not an RV nerd, like many of you out there. Basically, from what I understand, you have to deplete the battery, get it down to zero, and then it says, hey, okay, you got a lithium battery there, boy. This is my refrigerator. I like my refrigerator, it's a good refrigerator. Uh, up here, it's zero degrees and over here whoops I dropped my wife's soda water it's uh 40 degrees which is pretty good okay let me put this back here let me put it over here for right now 
So I have plenty of Diet Pepsi for the road. Let me turn on this light. My shower has been very nice. I really enjoy it. I haven't changed, uh, you know, like the nozzle to uh, something fancier. Not at this time. Tight, tight, tight. Super tight squeeze here in the toilet area. And as I sit down, it's pretty tight, but it's doable. No problem. See? No problem. I put this little uh, garbage bag here, and of course we put plastic bags in here for some of the toilet. And uh, that's where we do the uh, winterizing and dewinterizing. Of course, we don't leave these things lying around when we're going down the road. We have two uh, garbage cans. This one's our general garbage can. This is our one that we typically put in the bathroom. We have two in the bathroom. Why not? We have. And this is my uh, Star Wars uh, Baby Yoda Mandalorian pad here. Okay. I did add this. I got this from one of those, uh, you know, discount department stores that sell everything. And it's a good spot to hang things. And I put this towel behind it because I just kept on banging. So I put in one of my a towel that I didn't use too much. My brother visited me about him a year ago and left a towel. So I use it there now. Very nice. This air conditioner is super, super, super noisy. Let me close the door. And let me turn on the air conditioner. Again, it's off, then put on cool. Can I have it on high? High auto. My wife puts it on low automatically. You're not supposed to do that. I have it on high auto. Apparently when you have it on low, it's uh, the AC unit on top gets a little frosty. So I have it only set to 80. It's a bit noisy, but not that super, super noisy. Give it a good solid C as air conditioning unit goes. Ooh, right here is nice and cool. When we go camping, my wife stands usually right about here, cools off, and says, thank you very much. So again, this is one of my complaints, is this is not a uh, digital. This is my second major complaint. My number one complaint is the fact that they use Go Power for a lot of stuff. Let me give you my uh, take on Go Power. I'm gonna turn around the camera. Ooh. Wow. Close that. Go Power. Let me count the ways. Go Power is a company that makes a lot of uh, products for the RVing community. They're charge controllers, uh, solar panels, inverters, stuff like that. I figure, this is my, my thought, it may not be true, but this is what I think. It does not necessarily relate to something in actuality, but this is what I understand. Go Power sell stuff to the RV manufacturers cheap, okay? Knowing full well, if you need to upgrade a solar panel or another part of their product line, you know, something goes wrong with their uh, charge controller, it's gonna be expensive. Two to three times more expensive than your typical charge controller solar panel. 
a solar panel typically right now sells for about a dollar a watt. Okay, so you can get a 190 watt rooftop, high quality solar panel for 190 bucks. So I think uh, GoPower sells the same, essentially the same, essentially the same solar panel for about two to three times more money, if I remember correctly. It's rather expensive. It's rather expensive. Okay, so I just wanted to say these are these are my two cents. Again, regarding the uh, price, RV manufacturers pay for this product. I have no idea, but I know that aftermarket. If you went to Amazon.com and wanted a Go Power 190 watt, you know, solar panel, it's outrageously priced as compared to the competition. So my two complaints are the you know. The air conditioner controls the thermostat and the go power. Those are my two major ones that I complain about. And I'm currently in the process of um, going to support the uh, water tanks. First, I've got to figure out where they're at, where these water tanks are. Because from what I understand, from a lot of individuals, some say, hey, we load up all, we load up 50 gallons on those and we go down roads and there we have no issues. But some people, some people have had issues. The supports have bowed or snapped or had some issues because there's a lot of water. So I'm thinking about adding some some supports, and there's different methodologies to uh, support those water tanks. I feel the folks at uh, Rockwood Flags have should have done a better job with supports. And I've been in communications with the folks at Rockwood Flags, and they said, "Yeah, we don't recommend." Uh, filling them up while going down the road. We recommend just putting a little bit in there, just, you know, 5-10 gallons and calling it good while they're going down the road just to flush your toilet in case you need to use a toilet or get a glass of water or something like that. That's about it. That's it. We don't recommend filling it up. And that's from the horse's mouth. The horse's mouth being Rockwood Flagstaff. Okay. Let me move over here, closer to the AC. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Ah. Again, it's hot in July in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. It's going to be hot in August, too. At the end of July, I should be camping. We're at uh, Guadalupe River State Park for about a week. That should be a lot of fun. My wife and I will be sitting in the beautiful, clear waters of the Guadalupe River and enjoying ourselves. And once in a while, maybe going to San Antonio, which is nearby and hanging out, maybe even going dancing on a Saturday night. Why not? Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. This has been Asus Man with Amena Garza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and uh, super, super fantastic comments below. Allow. Muchos, muchos, muchos gracias. You know, check out you know my Patreon page. Patreon.com slash JMM Garza. That's again, that's Patreon.com slash JMM Garza. Thank you very much. From Fort Worth, Texas. Actually, I'm in Crowley. That's where I have my storage for my RVs at. In a couple weeks, I'll be heading down the road doing some camping along the Guadalupe River. Hope you're doing fantastic. Gracias. <laughs> Adios. Bye bye.